Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. We're out here at ProMega, sitting with the City Administrator, Pat Marsh, and we're discussing uh, some of the items that are coming up today on the Business Luncheon. Uh, Pat, thanks again for uh, joining us uh, today. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it. Uh, we're going to continue on here with kind of looking at uh, some of the projects, uh, some of the, the stuff that's happened this year. Uh, going into next year. Uh, can you tell us about some of the projects currently going on? And there's a lot of them. There is. You know, in addition to having uh, four residential neighborhoods in the ground, uh, you know, a lot of houses popping up as people drive around the city. They can see that from east to west. Um, that's really exciting because it's something uh, that we've been uh, a little slow in reacting to the single family house. Um, and uh, the the, the potential we had here. We've seen a lot of apartments go up over the years and um, in the last few years, and we'll continue to see that just due to demand. And uh, you see some going up there in the single family neighborhoods and then in, in more of the uh, commercial areas like Uptown. So uh, apartments are, are, are needed and, and we're accommodating that need through the various developers. Some of the other projects that are going on though, like the specifically commercial related projects, Fish Hatchery Road is gonna see several, uh, several improvements uh, beginning this fall. Uh, UW Credit Union is building a new uh, facility about in the middle of the corridor, uh, in close proximity across the street from the Dairy Queen. Oh, area. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so the UW Credit Union will be building a nice two-story facility there. Uh, Park Bank uh, is looking to uh, do a new facility uh, at Greenway Cross, um, so that's exciting. We have a new senior housing project going up on Fish Hatchery Road just north of uh, the golf course on Traceway. Uh, all these projects are going to add to um, a sort of redevelopment uh, component we've been working on for quite some time on, on uh, Fish, North Fish Hatchery Road. The road project itself is under the engineering and design stage, so uh, Fish Hatchery Road will get a much needed facelift in the next couple of years and uh, uh, some amenities along with that. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we have uh, Promega's new facility uh, going up and that's, that's a great catalyst for uh, Fitchburg Center and, and Promega continues to grow and be a great partner here in the city. And then, you're going to see some things in, uh, in Uptown coming up uh, in the future, uh, commercial-wise. Uh, we have Phoenix, which is going to be great breaking ground here shortly. Um, and uh, some other projects I can't talk about now, but stay tuned. Hey, we'll get you back on the show and uh, we'll be talking about those hopefully uh, coming up. Yeah, Phoenix, uh, excited to have them uh, to come in here and Promega, like I said, uh, Awesome that they keep uh, keep investing in uh, uh, their projects here, and uh, certainly glad to have them. Uh, you kind of mentioned some of the projects of 2019, but uh, for folks, uh, you know, what uh, what do you see as your vision for 2019 as far as the business community goes? Well, continued to grow. Uh, one project that I forgot to mention, and and is going to be another catalyst for North Fish Hatchery Road, will be a new hotel uh, that'll be developed on the current. Uh, church site uh, located up by the BP. Um, so that's going to be a nice redevelopment project. It's going to bring um, some hospitality along with some restaurant and, and an additional uh, dining options for the community. So exciting project. It's going to have a rooftop uh, restaurant bar oh, no uh, kidding, with no. a capital view. So. That, that's very exciting to, to come forth. But uh, I think we're going to continue to roll in, in 19. We've had been meeting with several different companies uh, and developers, and uh, Fitchburg's an attractive area. You know, we're sitting in good proximity here uh, to, the, to the capital, uh, easy access to the downtown university, uh, uh, all the hospitals. So, you know, we, we couldn't be sitting any better than we are. Awesome. Um, let's talk about, uh, we've had a lot of businesses hit some significant milestones this year. It just happened that between Fitchburg hitting 35 years, but then you, you, you had other businesses, uh, you know, hit some pretty good milestones. What are some of the impacts that these businesses who have been here uh, since the beginning or, or been in business uh, have for our community? 
Well, they've all been great partners, and that's one of the reasons we're celebrating them today, is that they've provided services to our residents and other businesses here for, for a long time. And, um, you know, uh, for them to have that longevity here shows that, uh, you know, we're on a solid base here in, in Fitchburg, and, and uh, that allows us to, to grow. Uh, to have these businesses that have had that sort of history here. Like you said, some businesses 40 years, that's longer than we've been a city. Exactly, exactly. And I, you know, we're, again, we're so grateful that, they, that they're here. And I feel like our business community is really connected uh, with the city uh, uh, and you guys stay in connection with them, which I think is, is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's important to not only look for growth and new businesses, but serve the businesses you have here. We need to take care of our own and make sure that we keep them here. Absolutely. Uh, continuing on here, uh, uh, what are you doing to uh, attract future growth? So kind of looking at the 2019 in the future, uh, it, we were kind of talking about in the break, there's a lot of things that just be because of proximity here, but uh, what do we do? What do you guys do out there to attract uh, new businesses coming to Fitchburg? Uh, a lot of it is reacting to, to people that come to us. You know, we're, like I said, we're in a good situation and this is a high, highly desirable area here in the Midwest, the Madison metro area. So it's, it's, it's responding to inquiries, but we also go out and um, we really market the areas that we have um, land available uh, or where we have buildings available. We market that uh, through our Community and Economic Development Department. We market that through our regional partners like MADREP and um, we do what we can. We attend uh, national conferences uh, to sell Fitchburg. Um, we've really been active in the uh, bioscience and tech uh, industries. And uh, as you can see with this campus we're on here, uh, it's something we'd like to continue to pursue. So by attending those conferences and letting them know what we have here in Fitchburg, that only helps attract businesses moving forward. And you can see with Phoenix, Phoenix moving here, similar type uh, business and uh, highly technical. I think uh, they're gonna add a great dimension to the city. Absolutely. How, uh, how should residents take all this development uh, as it's happening? You know, obviously we, you know, it's good for the city, but uh, for residents and stuff too, um, what's the impact on them? Well, it's, it's, it's great. It, it provides, uh, obviously, our city with an additional tax base, which is important. Uh, takes the tax burden away from the residential properties. But it also provides opportunities for our residents in terms of jobs, in, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, other items like getting out there and having places to go in the community. But having that, this job base here, um, in Fitchburg. Our unemployment is at a record low currently and uh, it is because of these businesses that we're thriving like we are. Absolutely. If people want to get involved with learning more about um, the city, what's going on, um, from time to time we have committee openings, but how can, how can people stay connected with what's going on day to day, week to week, year to year? Well, they can watch Talking Fitchburg. I mean, I didn't want to say it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we could help you. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, our website's great, uh, provides a lot of updates on the various things we have going on in the community, both socially uh, and, and in terms of economic development and, uh, you know, general city work, things like what are our public works crews working on this week and the Verona Road project is a great example of that. So um, our website, uh, they can attend council meetings. Uh, we have a select few that attend a lot of the meetings, but <laughs> um, you know, we always encourage people to attend the meeting and let their voice be heard. Um, they can come and they can knock on uh, staff's doors. We have an open, open uh, city hall and uh, we're here to answer questions and help out our residents. Yeah, I do think it's important that uh, that you do share that information. That you know, we're we are very connected. We we are able to get a lot of our information out because of Fact TV, because of the website, because of social media. A lot easier to get information and keep people up to date. But you know, I think your take home point that the door is open, ask questions. You know, come out, ask, find out what's going on, stay connected is super important. Yeah, and I would uh, be remiss if I didn't uh, note our community partners. We have a lot of partners out there that have been um, 
promoting and, and uh, doing a lot of great things in Fitchburg, like our chamber, uh, like Fitchburg Center here. Um, uh, several different uh, community organizations uh, that are, are doing their thing to uh, help neighborhoods, to help uh, the minority populations of the community, um, to assist with uh, activities for youth. So it, it all makes a good community, and uh, that's what we have here in Fitchburg. Absolutely. Well, there you go. That is Pat Marsh, your city administrator. Pat, thank you so much. Appreciate the time. Well, thank we'll you. We'll look forward to having you back on the show here uh, coming up in uh, next quarter. Or all last right. quarter, I should say, of the, of the year already. Crazy all to right. think that. Thank you. Yep.